So this story just came across my desk. I want to talk about it. It's about Trevor Noah from Comedy Central saying that the world leaders respected Trump way more than they respected Biden. I mean, like, duh. Hi, my name is Kyle and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to run by you the clip that Trevor Noah of Comedy Central did. I'm going to run through the clip. And I'm going to actually do a commentary on it as he talks about it because it's pretty interesting because we all know that Trevor Noah of Comedy Central is a true leftist and we aren't sure if he's trying to be serious here or if he's trying to really push back on what the Democrats are doing, what Biden's doing, or is he just trying to get some more viewership and trying to give a little crumbs out to the conservatives? I don't know, but let's check out this particular clip as I go through it right now. There is no denying that Saudi Arabia isn't playing ball with Joe Biden. And you know what? You can say what you want, but this would have never happened to Donald Trump. Never. He said this would never have happened under Donald Trump. And what he's talking about here is Putin invading Ukraine. All the turmoil that's going on. And we know just now what happened. Iran's launching missiles into the Mossad base in Iraq. What's up with that? And, it, and they're taking responsibility for it. Do you think for a second that that would have happened under Trump? I don't think so. And by the way, this guy here is not the only one to say that. There's other people that said the same thing. Never. No one was ever ignoring Donald Trump's calls. No one was ever ignoring Donald Trump's calls. You know why? Because, well, he'll tell you why in a second. I'll comment on that. But essentially, President Trump was a leader. He led in front. Okay, he didn't wait to see an opinion poll or anything like that. He acted on his own instincts and his own leadership ability to understand the situation and to listen to his leaders to know what's actually happening in the world and not being bound by lobbyists and interest groups and the swamp who would tell him otherwise. Yeah, because if you ignored Donald Trump's calls, you didn't know how he would respond. Maybe he'd send an angry tweet. He raises a good point here. You don't know how Trump was going to respond. I know on the campaign trail, he said many times, look, don't telegraph your moves to your enemy. Don't tell him I'm going to bomb so-and-so, you know, in five minutes, or I'm going to do this in a week from now, or I'm going to pull back troops a year from now. Don't tell people that because all they're going to do is wait until you leave and then they're going to go ahead and do it. There's a good meme that Don Jr. posted right here. It shows Obama at the top and we all know that Putin invaded Ukraine and Crimea under his watch. And then you see the four years under Trump where this Braveheart meme with Mel Gibson says, hold, 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 hold. And at the end, of course, waiting for Biden. And then, of course, they're going to go ahead and charge because they know that Biden is weak. Or maybe he just like ban your country from everything. You don't know. That's why I bet in these situations, Biden actually wishes that he could hire Trump to step in as president wildcard. So what you said there basically was you don't know what Trump's going to do. It's unpredictable. He can give you a mean tweet. We can just ban your country from everything. In other words, harsh sanctions or whatever he does. And so that is what world leaders didn't want to mess with. And we had the ex-vice president talking about, oh, yeah. As long as it's not a major incursion, you'll be fine. And the rhetoric that he's talking basically gives a dog whistle to our enemies to do whatever you want to do. And we saw that this weekend where our base or nearby base was attacked. I think it was 12 rockets. I have a article here from the Jewish press. And I'll pull this up here. Iran attacks U.S. consulate in Kurdistan. Claims target was Mossad base. The U.S. consulate means that is American soil. You have an embassy somewhere else or a consulate somewhere else. That is the same thing as that country it just happens to be somewhere else. And so attacking that is really an act of war. So you come down here, it says here, the Iran news agency, Tassanin, coverage of the story was headlined, U.S.-based Mossad training centers in northern Iraq targeted in ballistic missile attacks. And they said that they took 12 ballistic missiles that landed near the U.S. consulate building in Erbil, the capital of Kurdish region of Iraq. Incredible. Again, do you think this would happen under Trump? I don't think so. You know, just keep everyone on their toes. Because if Trump was calling, you best believe the UAE, they'd be racing to pick up the phone. Oh, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, we're here. We're here. Hello? Too late, Ahmed. You made me wait two rings. We're bombing the UAE. That's a pretty good accent. And the UFC, just in case. And here you have real clear politics saying this. Bill Maher said, if Putin thought Trump was really that supportive of him, why didn't he invade when he was in office? And Bill Maher was just on Ben Shapiro this weekend as well. I haven't seen it yet. I'll look at that and I'll comment maybe in another video. But here's the thing. The cat's out of the bag. People know what's going on. So when it comes down to it, Trump is the real leader. Biden is truly the puppet. 
leaders don't want to talk to Biden because they don't know who they're talking to. If you call Biden, are you talking to Kamala? Are you talking to the swamp? Are you talking to Pelosi? Who are you talking to? They don't know. So they're not going to answer your phone calls. And one thing about Trump is he was not beholden by the swamp, by the PACs, by the lobbyists, by the special interest groups. No, he was his own man. He led out front so that if you talk to him, he could change the position if it makes sense, because that's what he does as a leader. And that's what Saudi Arabia and other countries are saying. Nah, we know Biden's not the real deal, so we're not even going to talk to the guy. And it's really embarrassing. It weakens our nation. You have like neocons like John McCain and Lindsey Graham who would try and get Republicans to do whatever. But Trump was like, no, I'm not going to do that, bro. No, I'm my own man. I'm not going to do that. And if you know your history a little bit, go back and look at Lincoln leading up to when he was president. He was the 16th president, but leading up to him, there were several Whigs and Democrats were in cahoots with each other, giving sweetheart deals to each other, handing out postmaster general positions for helping on political campaigns. It was a swamp. And when Lincoln came in, he upset the apple cart. And that was a bad thing for the swamp back in D.C. This isn't the first time this has happened. And so what's interesting here, and even ironic, is you have President Zelensky of the Ukraine, who's in the middle of all this, and I'm not even sure if he knows, after playing the president, now being president, if he knows that he's actually just a pawn in this whole proxy war between Russia and NATO. I don't know. What I do find interesting is, is the fact that Trump called Zelensky for that and was impeached twice because he was his own person and was trying to do things that was right for this country and for the world, outside of all the oligarchs that were trying to do the exact opposite. But what do you think? What do you think about what Trevor Noah had to say? Do you think he was being serious? Or do you think he was just trying to give some breadcrumbs to conservatives to get us to watch his show? I don't know. And what are your thoughts on this current situation? The rockets are launching in from Iran into Iraq near one of our consulates. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think. And if you like me doing this channel, we take pop culture and politics and flip the T right, then please check out some more videos that we have picked out for you right 